child. In her room, Christina was online talking graphically about sex and had created her own website. She was using the screen name Long Too Hot For You. Her aunt guesses that she was exploring her sexuality through the internet, which is remarkably typical, says former FBI profiler Ken Lanning. He spent 20 years studying both the behavior of sex offenders and their victims. Every kid is unique, and in some ways maybe she did things more than another kid, but the fact that children have needs and wants and desires and they're trying to explore things and they're going to take risks and take chances, all that kind of stuff is very typical of teenagers. For investigators like Lanning, Christina Long's case crystallizes a disturbing truth that they say society is reluctant to talk about. Many of the young victims are not forced or even tricked into these meetings. They go willingly. I want to make it clear so there's no misunderstanding. When an adult and a child have sex, the adult is the offender, the child is the victim. Always, all the time, that's just the way it is. But in some cases, the victim may be compliant. But, but they've, they've gone willingly. But they've gone They've willingly. gone knowing what's going to happen. But that's the whole idea of why we protect children. We recognize the children want to eat too much candy. They want to do all kinds of things that they're not supposed to do. But because they haven't reached a certain age, we protect them. Lanning says Christina Long's case is classic until May 17th. According to authorities, Dos Reese confessed to strangling Christina Long as they were having sex. Did you kill Christina? No, I'm not a killer. <laughs> what happened the night of May 17th? <sighs> then I, I lost my friend and my friend died. I tried to save her. You tried to save her? Yes. Why didn't you take her to the hospital? Her aunt asks, if he could see she was in trouble, why didn't he take her to the hospital? Why didn't he try to save her? I tried to save her. How? I tried to give her CPR. And what happened? It didn't work. Police say he confessed to driving 30 miles to Greenwich to dump the body. But when we ask about his alleged confession, one of his lawyers, Peter Tillum, interrupted our interview. If what was in the police reports were always facts, then we wouldn't need trials. Okay, Saul takes great issue with what's in those police reports. And to assume but, that, they're, that they're facts... But in the, listen, in the police report, they found her because he told the police where she was. Well, that's was. what they said. Police say they found her clothing and her purse in a dumpster because... Saul led them to it. That, that, that's what police say. That's not... Police say that Saul confessed to killing her during sex. We need to discuss that off camera. Tillam has filed a motion to have Dos Reese's statement thrown out, claiming it was obtained improperly. Dos Reese faces federal charges that include using the Internet to entice a minor for sex,